In this episode of Mighty Car Mods, we're going to be teaching you guys how to do that. Strut your stuff. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods, proudly supported by Just Car Insurance. Another season of Mighty Car Mods, in fact, season six. That's right, man. And this season is going to be the biggest, baddest, and best ever in Mighty Car Mods history. What kind of things have we got planned? We are going to be going faster than we've ever gone before. We're going to be doing mods that are more difficult, and also some awesome DIY mods along the way too. That's right. We're also going to be busting some myths, and of course, smashing that MX-5 with the Honda S2000 because it is a fast. Car, basically it is a better car, it's a better engineered, everybody knows scrap. that if you want really, a proper sports car, you know, a proper coupe, a Japanese MX5 one, is, is that you, you get a Honda, you it's nicer you when you're, you're actually in there, it responds to mods better, you don't have to turbocharge it to actually go better, people who drive Hondas know that they're awesome, you've got VTEC, okay, VTEC means you're going faster than an MX-5 can ever go, you've got to spend so much money to try and get faster, I haven't had to spend anything, and I still beat him at the track last time, Pretty much. so today, what we're going to be teaching you guys how to do is a very, very simple mod. We wanted to start the season with a DIY that anyone can do, no matter what car, and very, very cheap. So, we're going to be in Honda! Sorry, we're going to be installing um, some bonnet struts, also known as um, hood, hood dampers. dampers. If you're from the uh, Northern Hemisphere. That's right, and the reason that we're going to be doing that is this season um, I'm going to be spending um, a bit of time under the hood of my car. Very true. Um, and, um, and so this is just going to make the whole experience a little bit nicer. So, let's get to it. Today we're working on my fully legit wide body Honda S2000. Heaps of modern cars come with gas bonnet struts that gently lift the bonnet when you open it. They do away with the bonnet support stick that can have a nasty habit of getting dislodged accidentally while you're under the hood and cracking you in the head. This is a properly cheap and easy way to upgrade your experience under your bonnet. Hey Mechanical Steve. Thanks heaps for making my car look awesome. Really appreciated that. Very, very kind of you. Seems like you're starting to drink some of Marty's Kool-Aid. Marty's Kool-Aid about how crap my car is. It's fine, tease away, I'll smash you at the drags too. Bring anything down, bring one of your souvenirs down, I'll smash it too, I don't care. Marty, can you grab this? Fools. Okay, so let me give you a rundown of what we're doing today. Did I mention that this is cheap, easy and fast? Hi Cheryl. Okay, so this here is the strut or damper if you're from the United States of that place. So, at the moment when you lift this up, if you drop it, it falls down again. That's called gravity. So, normally you need to put this here in and hold things up when you're working. What this does, just like the back of a hatchback, is it's going to attach over here somewhere, the other end's going to attach over here, and what that means is once that's in, we can remove this, and that means when you open this, it's just going to go meh and it'll stay there without my hand by itself and then meh meh now you can get these as a kit, this is a Honda S2000 kit, you can get them for all sorts of cars or you can even properly DIY if there is not a kit for your car but there probably is so check it out now Martin is going to show you the tools that you need actually you know what, he's not showing you the tools that you're going to need Martin's going to show you the tool that you need so here are the tools you're going to need That was really short, man. Oh, you're also gonna need that, which is a, a, a Q-tip if you're from the United States of Awesome, or, um, or a cotton bud if you're from England and Australia and various other places. I'm not really sure what they're called in other languages. You should let us know. Um, and that's some grease that we put on the, uh, on the bolts to make sure that water and rust don't happen. Uh, and that's, that was really short, wasn't it? You know what, Martin? Let's talk about the size of okay. the socket and so how So the most feet. important thing about the tool that you're going to use is that you have a deep socket. Uh, I would yeah. highly, I would highly have you suggest. Seen recently? Come on, man. I would highly suggest getting deep sockets anyway. They're really, really, really useful. Um, you've got long bolts and things that stick over the top and the deep socket goes over it. Hello, Cheryl. And, um, and then, yeah, you're going to need one of these to, to make it do. It still felt really short. I know we've had it Have you out. seen that movie, Deep Socket? No. 
These are the struts. Obviously, they come in a pack of two because you need one on each side of your bonnet. They also come with the hardware as well as these little spaces. Now, the reason that you'd use those is because the longer the strut is, the higher your bonnet will go. So you can use those to adjust. Now, if you've got a kit that's actually made for your car, the cool thing is, is that you will not need to drill things in. If you do need to, um, a Christmas tree bit, Turbo Yoda's favourite, uh, that is the one to use, but this is just going to use the existing slots that are already there on the Honda S2000. Um, these came with some instructions that were completely useless, that is because these are proper TDM items from Taiwan, um, except we're going to show you how to do it so you won't need the instructions. It's very quick, very simple, I reckon this whole thing would take you less than 10 minutes and then you're going to have mad TDM cred, so let's get to it. First up, pop your bonnet or jack off your car. Our kit is going to attach to the 10mm bolt here and here. Remove the 10mm bolt from the fender. You won't need it again, but you will need to keep the bolt from the bonnet. The kit comes with two round-headed bolts that the struts will attach to. Make sure you grease it up good before you stick it in. Once that's screwed in, insert the mounting plate on the bonnet hinge using the existing bolt. So the most fiddly part of this install are these little clamps on the end of the struts that the instructions call skid-proof clamps. I think Moog will need some of those in his pants when we go drags again. Uh, but anyway, these little clamps hold this strut to the little bally knob that we just installed. Um, if you lose these, and it's likely that you will because they're tiny, um, you can use the little clamps that go on the top of remote control cars, those little clip things, or you could fashion your own if you're feeling very fashionable. Um, so we're going to throw these struts on and it's going to be mad. Attach the struts to the round head bolts and then attach the clips to hold them in place. The easiest way to do this is have a friend hold the bonnet while you attach the struts. With the other side installed, it's all done. This is one of those mods that's so easy and so cheap that it's often overlooked, but it really is well worth it. I'm loving it, but what does Mechanical Stick think? It's a good easy mod, man. It's very easy when you're trying to work in the front, you don't have the stick in the way. Awesome. Um, so thoughts in general, how much faster am I going to go, Benny? It's not going to make you go any faster. Okay. Well, I, I guess the, the air brake might no. You don't think I'll beat the MX-5? No. What? It's NA, bro. It's impossible. Wow. Look at these guys. <laughs> you already you, you said the air brake. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You've held the bonnet yeah, when you do it. It's very funny. It's very funny. But everyone's hating on my car. At least the people on the internet like it. Actually, they hate it too, don't they? Oh, so yeah. my mates hate the car. The internet hates the car. At least I like it. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So there it is. This is a very, very simple, quick and cheap mod, which is what it's all about. The other mad benefit is there is no stick here when you're working on your car. Uh, it's not getting in the way. That's why Mechanical Stick has them on all of his vehicles. That's right, Martin. That's right. And the kits also come with little extenders. So if you are particularly tall and you want your bonnet to go high, you can stick those extenders in and you'll get a bit more lift. That's right. Now, Marty has been busy working away on his MX-5. Is that correct, Martin? That so is Is correct. that next episode? It or goes have... so mad. Yes, oh, really? it's going to be next so episode. So you tried to fix it? Yep. I fixed it, it was always awesome. Yeah, that's the next episode, so keep an eye out for that. Yes, uh, we also have Martin. That's right, we've also had a lot of requests um, for, for for your head. Lots of requests for Moog's head. You can no. also get Key to the City on Blu-ray and on DVD, so if you want to watch it in full mad HD shoes, well, you can. And yes, we have hats, finally. Yes, you've only been asking us for 15 years, and finally we do. So all of that stuff you can access at MightyCarMods.com, and also we got some giveaways and other cool stuff that's happening on our Facebook, which is Faceballs.com forward slash MightyCarMods. Marty, that's about it. I suggest we go and eat a meat donut. Have you heard of those yet? No, but I want one. Really? Where do you get them? Well, it looks like a donut, and it's the same size of a donut, but yeah. it's made of the whole barnyard. Wait, so you every mean it's animal. like a salami, chickeny... Every animal you can think of. And it's, it's just a mammal donut thing.
everybody. You're gonna get smashed you know, by your own turbocharged car. So. Oh, that's great. Stick your own turbo on it and then beat you, and it'll be all embarrassing, and everyone will laugh at you like everyone else laughs at people who drive these when they're stuck.